what's going on guys so today we're talking about battery man support i'm excited let's just get right into it what this card is what this card can't do it's a level 4 light thunder type monster with 1500 attack 1500 defense you can only use each effect of this card's name once per turn so it is a hard once per turn if this card is normal special summoned you can send one thunder monster from your deck to the graveyard if another Thunder Monster is normal or special summoned while this card is already in a monster zone, special summon one Battery Man token, you can target one Battery Man effect monster on your field or in your graveyard until the end phase this card's name becomes that name. Now here are all the Thunder type monsters that aren't Battery Man that this card is a foolish burial for. Just all, all the Watts are Thunder type monsters, I just thought that was something that's interesting. Uh, Subterra Behemoth uh, Voltric, the one that... Um, can target a set monster opponent controls take control of it that's not super relevant for sub terrors but the fact that this card can send this card to the graveyard is pretty strong for sub terrors in my opinion i don't know that archetype super well but i'm pretty sure that's strong and i think gem knight fusion banishes from the graveyard um and so gem knight amber and gem knight turbuline are both thunder monsters uh, but i think most battery men players already knew that another card i think is interesting is thundercap skywolf no one's read this card. Um, if this card is special summoned from the graveyard, you could destroy all face-up monsters your opponent controls. Uh, you can't conduct your battle phase turn you activate this effect. So that's just a really random effect that it happens when this card is special summoned from the graveyard. A big problem this card has is getting to the graveyard. But it also sends every battery man. And I just put battery man C and battery man double A on here because both of these cards gain effect based on how many battery man C's and you know, double A's you control. This card has the potential to get up to 5,000 attack or 5,000 defense depending on which position you have them in. Another thing I really do like about this card is you can completely fill your board with this card, Brilliant T fusion and battery charger which i think personally i think battery charger is now three of in battery man decks because battery charger is not a hard once per turn and the only problem battery charger had was getting battery men to the graveyard so with this card being essentially a foolish burial for the archetype that makes it significantly easier for battery charger to be live you can activate brilliant fusion normal summon this card send trick clown summon trick clown and then once you normal summon this card, send 9-volt battery charger, 9-volt back out. With the other charger, battery man charger, tribute the token, normal summon him, normal summon fuel cell. And now your field is fuel cell, charger, solar, trick clown, 9-volt, seraph knight. So you have all six spaces filled up. I think this is a really good start for battery man support. I still think the deck needs a way to search battery charger and short circuit and i still think the deck needs its own inherent double summon this card definitely does help out battery man and i'm, I'm really excited to see it because there really aren't a whole lot of good battery men cards out there hopefully battery man gets more support probably won't but i am excited about this support if you guys are too make sure you let me know by clicking that like button comment down below what more support you think battery men need click that subscribe button for even more Yu-Gi-Oh content most importantly guys have a good day